Simon, a Saturday night is going to be in Toulouse at home um, to put us six for 24 hours at least. Um, how are you feeling after that one? Yeah, good. Um, really proud of the boys' efforts, but they were really good, really disciplined. I think that was, for me, watching it there, um, the major difference from a lot of our games this year. We had them pinned on their line and the effort has always been there, but the discipline, we've given a lot of pressure releases and our, we didn't give them particular second half and, and made life really difficult for them, which, are, you know, in the end, just wore on them and, and ground them down. But yeah, I thought we were really good, quite clinical. Didn't have that many opportunities, just the nature of the game. Um, but yeah, Keezy kicked really well and I think it showed, yeah, I, th I thought it showed today what we've missed. Do you feel slightly vindicated that the copy and paste interviews that we've done where you're saying that we're not that far away, it's had to come to fruition tonight? Well, we're not going to get excited about it because it still doesn't mean anything. We've got to go and do the same sort of job at Keefley, same sort of job at Swinton and, and they've got something to fight for as well so it'll definitely be interesting but yeah, there's a bit of frustration in there because I wholeheartedly believed all year we can do that all the time. Uh, we beat everyone I think now in the comp. Um, and yeah, having Keezy back, I think I've said for me, best half in comp, best football brain for me um, and can't underestimate the loss he's been. I know he might not be ripping through and scoring tries and, and whatnot at the moment, but having him on the field is massive for us and it ends up bringing the best out of other people around him where we haven't, we haven't quite had that. So, yeah, on the whole, good. Just uh, Will Calcott in terms of injury um, to worry about, I think. But, yeah, they, they all run the blood to water and really dug in and the crowd were great as well. When we did have them pinned, we, that was a pretty good um, pretty good 10 minutes or so there so yeah happy enough um, but as always mate we can smile tonight but we have to move on pretty quick do you think after the success of in 1895 cup and the teams we've beat to get there this is bringing out the best in in our side these grand finals every week that so you've played oh, these high pressure games um, we've got a lot of pressure on ourselves pressure's always there outside uh, but we're putting a bit of pressure on ourselves which isn't a bad thing um, we're not in the six for definite, even if we win them all, depending on what happens around us. So we, we just need to keep chipping away and, and hope we get a little bit of luck because I think we've, we've been without that for, for large parts of this season. We've got to flip our attitude. We've, we've played second place tonight. Next two weeks we play teams on the other end of the table. How important is it to keep the same attitude against those sides? Yeah, 100%. And I've got no care for where they are at the table. Um, sounds awful, but I've not really got any care for their plight either as to what they want to achieve. We're interested in what we want to achieve and you know, by looking after the ball, by playing smart as we did tonight, but having that that intent in our defence uh, will go a long way towards doing the job. But um, you know, you could argue could quite possibly be complacent if you're looking at where we are in the table and whatnot, but that would be absolutely criminal after you know, giving ourselves a chance the last couple of weeks to, to throw it away with a poor performance at, at Keefley, for example, next week. So, and that will be tough. I mean, I remember playing at Keefley a long, long time ago um, when we got relegated from Super League. Probably think we got beat with that bad a year, to be fair. Um, never an easy game. Small pitch, a bit Jewsby like. It's not massive. Um, and Keefley are a good team. I know the league position doesn't say that. Um, but I'd argue we're a pretty good team as well and our league position doesn't say that does it to be fair so um, yeah we'll just have to look after ourselves again look after the bodies because you know that was a tough one good physical game that um, and we'll see how they all are Tuesday but it's the same sort of message again if you like whatever it takes kitchen sink job throw it all in and, and then we'll just worry about what we've got left the week after where we'll, we'll dust ourselves off and go again but you know we need to win them all that's just how it is I think, with the exception of witness, we are beating every team in the competition. Ah, right, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> we, we beat ourselves that day, though, so uh, that might count for something. Yeah, um, we haven't got anything to fear regarding the opposition that we've got. Can you afford to kind of think of rolling into the playoffs in the next couple of weeks, or is it just a case of we've just got to take each game as it comes? Nah, um, we're not in. We're not. We're not sitting third and happy or second, first, like Feven um, to lose our. Um, we need to show that we're proud to wear this jersey, that we care about this jersey. Um, I, don't, I know they do, but we need to be showing it because at some point it might not matter. It might not lose next week, it might not matter against Swindon. But it'll matter to everyone out there whether you tip up in the last game and do you know, your best for what, what's on your back. Um, so yeah, for us, again, again, repeating myself throughout this interview, but we just have to we can only control us. I mean, tomorrow's results are coming in. Course, we'll be looking at them and having to see what's gone off. But 
it doesn't really matter, we've just got to get the next week nailed, train as best we can, prepare as best we can and cross that whitewash at the weekend at Keefley with, with the same attitude tonight and the same attitude that we had tonight and we'll have a very strong chance of taking the two points I think but if we don't, they're scrapping for the lives so you can come undone quite quick and the way everyone might pack you up back tonight, let's see what it's like next Sunday if we don't do the job. Um, so yeah, but I'm confident we've got, we've got this covered. If we turn up and do the right things, we've got it well within our capability and I've said that all year. So hopefully we can do our bit and then we get a little bit of luck from the rugby gods and we might just sneak our way into the playoffs and I'm not sure we want to play Halifax. Fans have uh, had a massive effect tonight, like you said before. How big an effect can they have, not just next week against Keighley, but at Swinton the week after and yeah, hopefully beyond? They've been great. They've supported us all year through thick and thin and... Yeah, we need them because if we do get things go our way and we do our bit, it'll be a nice reward for a season that has been, there's a lot of balding men watching Halifax um, at the, this season in particular, um, receding and on the retreat because of our inconsistency and you know, if they stick with us till the very end, we might just sneak in and, and hopefully you know, we can all be proud of that when it's all said and done.